This is code.org, and we're about to mirror an image. Like always, import, well, release now, import image plus. So background, image plus, hit import, or you can copy and paste it from there. Commit it if you do. Now, this is what we're doing. It is 1 million percent terrifying. So I'm strongly, oh, poor doggo. Huh. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is, well, mirror the image. We got to finish up this mirror vertical function. All right. So let me head over here and they've given us nothing. I know though immediately that we do want to loop through each image of the pixel, each pixel of the image, yikes. And we've done that a lot. So if I head over to here to image plus, I can look at any number of examples such as this one where we're looping through or this one, every single row of an image and each column of that row because all pictures are made up of a bunch of pixels, little dots of color. So those dots of color are organized into rows and columns. So we loop through the row of the dots and uh, well, we grab a row of the dots. Once we grab the row of the dots, we grab each individual column, each single dot, and we make some modification. So I'm actually just gonna copy this because I know we're gonna need a loop just like this, a nested loop where we go through the rows and columns. And I'm gonna slap paste. All right, I'll leave current pixel two, I guess. Let me think about this. So what we're gonna need to do, keep in mind, there's something slightly strange about this. If we are flipping it vertically like this, we don't need to go through the entire array. We're only gonna need to go through half of the array or half the image, because we need to grab whatever's over here and slap it over there, right? At least I think that's what they're doing. Oh no. They're grabbing this half and slapping it on this half. Got it. Okay, I can't even. That's just terrifying. So we need to know the left pixel because we're going to make it be the right pixel. So the first thing I got to do is get that left pixel. So um, I'll say get left pixel, I guess. And what will the left pixel be? It's going to be this, guys. It's going to be the row and column we currently are on. Now, the harder one, the more difficult pixel to get is the right pixel. How can I do that? Well, first off, I do not want to loop through the entire column. I only want to go through half of it. So I need to do divide by two. The reason I don't want to loop through the whole thing is because you would just be duplicating your efforts. You're only copying over half the image. So you want to go here, grab this thing, plop. Go here, grab this thing, plop. Doing the reverse, there's no need once you get halfway, you've already accomplished your goal. Now, I don't like doing zero here. I like using row. I want to get the length of each row we're on. Now, in an image, it happens to be that the first row is the same length as all the others, but I'm going to stick with my method there. Okay, so we got the left pixel. How can we get the right pixel? So let's do pixel, uh, right pixel, I guess. And then I'm going to do pixels row now it would be the same row column is where it gets tricky so i'm gonna actually let's say uh right index okay so how am i going to do this to get the right index i know i need to go exactly halfway through my array so i'll do pixels row over two so now i'm halfway through my image uh, pixel row dot length over two. I'm now exactly halfway through my image. Perfect. And now in my head, this should work just fine. We're grabbing one side of the image and we're smacking it over to the other side. However, my head is wrong and I want to show you a quick int, right? That all looks good. That looks good. Um, pixels, did I? Oh, we need to create pixels. So even though we have access to image plus, if you remember, pixels is private. So thankfully we have this handy get pixels method and it's gonna be what I use up here. So I don't know, pixels is a 2D array. Oh, pixel, a 2D array of pixel, which will be named, I'll name it pixels. And then get pixels. And this will automatically run. This knows to run get pixels, which isn't in this class, but it says, ah, yeah. so it must be up here. I'm extending this and it will run that and give us access to it. Um, let me go ahead and do right index here. So what we would want to do is, yep, integer right index. That's going to be the right pixel. And now I'm going to want to change the left 
pixel to be equal to that of the right pixel. So like left pixel dot set. You're going to end up needing how to do this. You're going to end up needing the colors from all of this pixel. The easiest way to do that would be to do something like I could do right pixel color. I could also just do right pixel would be to do set color. And then I need to get the color. So maybe right. Something like that. And then you can do right color. And then we're setting whatever colors are in that right pixel to be in to the left. We actually don't need to return anything. And I want to show you what this looks like. So Oh, I got to draw it real quick. Let me hammer this stuff out. So I need to instantiate it. And again, guys, what I have so wrong is wrong, but I want to show you why. Uh, wait, what is this? Mirror. Uh, I'm just going to do my image. And then we need a file, and I already know the file by heart, but if you don't manage assets, it's dogs.jpg that they're using. Dog.jpg. And then we need to draw it and we have a scene. I'm going to start it at zero, zero. The width, you could set it like 450, 500. I'm going to do the standard way, which I would highly recommend, which is get width. That way it changes with the screen size. We're going to need to pause this so we can actually see the image. And this should be like second nature. We've done this a fair amount. Okay. And then I'm going to need to draw it one more time down here. So I'm just going to kind of copy control C, control V. And I also want to run my method right here. So uh, my image. All right. And let's see what this ends up looking like if there's an error, if there's not an error. There we go. Bam. Now, why is this happening? Because it's a mirrored image. What I am currently doing, guys, and I see this a lot, and it's why I wanted to hit upon it. I am grabbing my right index, okay? And I'm saying, okay, go halfway through the row, right? Divide this by two, go halfway, and get the first column. So, bloop, this guy. Now, what do I do? I grab the color. Well, I grab that pixel. I grab the color from it and here, and then I set it here. So I'm just plopping it right along. That isn't what we need. We need to grab this index and put it here. If we're starting way over here, I don't want to start at the middle. I need to start at the end and move over. So how can I do that? Well, instead of this route, which is logical, but we need a mirror, I would want to do pixel row dot length minus one, right? Because you always need to subtract one if you're using dot length and when you need to use indexes because the length will always be one longer than the index. Now, minus one, now what? Minus the column. So when we're on column zero, we get this very edge. When we're on column one, we get one over, so on and so forth. Let's check this out. Creepy. And there we are. Now, there's a lot of ways to clean this up. You could have this down here. You might necessarily need all of these variables, but we have a terrifying, terrifying, terrifying dog. Poor guy. Let's just make sure. Mirrored vertical, backpack. Up. Oh, and we need to make sure to go ahead and save this to our backpack. Oh, commit. Something like that. Commit and save. Cool. Onward.